So we do financial services for startups. And um, so we have an application which does this financial analysis. We plug into accounting software like Xero, and we get uh, insights out of it. I will show you a bit how it works and what was the issue which brought us to want to use web workers. Okay. So I might be in a page where we want to do financial analysis of a company. I will pick an uh, organization, so that may be a group of companies which has here two organizations. We have to load, we analyze steps, and it will come. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we'll see some insights for the company. We can change company. We do charts. So same, we get the data from the organization. And for one organization, we'll find analysis of income and expenses, profitability, cash, etc. And you can see that here, yeah, so we have three analyses coming, and it starts taking a bit of time that we have a second organization, which will take, again, some time. We have different periods. Sometimes other customers want to see a few months. Sometimes they want to see their full history. So here we, I have a full three-year history of a business where we can very quickly analyze. We had only expenses and until we built a product, then revenue started growing with profitability coming up. The point is to say, to do financial analysis, we want to analyze many things. And so far, we have three on this page. And we started having some slowness with some customers. So we thought about a way to make it faster. And that's where, where WebWorker came. So we said we can get the data, calculate all this in the browser, and do many, many calculations. So uh, to do that, we tested how WebWorkers works. And so I have a page. And uh, the first solution would be to do plenty of calculation in a usual JavaScript. So I would click, and we see what's happening. The browser is completely locked, which is why web workers were invented. Because here we have maybe 10, uh, a dozen calculations. Uh, so these are random, but you get the point. Uh, so yeah, eight things going on, which takes around 10 seconds. In the meantime, the browser was completely locked. Well, if I do the same with web, uh, I can select, and it's all going on. So we can imagine the speed and the experience we can provide if we do that for all the analysis we want to do. And basically, the rationale, and seeing that is very exciting to me, because I know that we'll be able to do all this uh, super cool calculation very quickly. So to, to do it again, once it's loading, and yeah, it's all being calculated, I can pick, I can I can really interact. My user interface is not blocked. And the calculations are going in the background. So if we want to see, uh, and it works. So one of the beauty of web workers is that they are super easy to implement in the font. Yeah. OK. So to launch a web worker, we just create a new worker. And then we don't pass a function, we pass a URL of a file. Actually, there are two ways of launching workers, either through a URL or through a blob, so an aggregation. Uh, we went for the URL solution. So you call a worker, you now have your worker in your code, and you can you communicate with message because it's all asynchronous. So you post a message, you can, you can post an object, uh, and then you listen to the worker itself to receive a message what's happening, and get your response. On the um, worker side, you would listen to messages. And once you listen, you can do whatever you want. In our case, when uh, you can see, we call some, maybe I should call it. You can see, we, so we have many calculations going on. and many functions. We didn't want to create one individual file for every potential worker, because basically we have a module, a library with all the potential calculations. So we want to have always the same. And we call the proper function. So we use in the data that we send itself, which function we want to call. And the listeners, so we have a worker manager, 
which will listen to that, execute, and communicate directly with that. So that's to see it to show that it's uh, super easy to implement. A few things which I find interesting also, and which you might like if you want to implement uh, workers. When, as you're passing a URL, you want to make sure you have better. Um, you want to make sure you have your files available. Uh, so yeah. So when we minify, we, uh, when we minify and prepare our deployment script, we make sure the workers are separate. As we have a revision, we have a script which makes sure to have this uh, version available for servers. Um, but except that, uh, it works. And uh, another fun fact is that I'm sure if some, uh, when you do calculations, sometimes you lock your browser because you do infinite loops. Or at least I'm guilty of that. I do that. And if you do that in normal, yeah, there is at least someone else. If you do that in, in your JavaScript, it kills your tab and you are like, it's annoying to close. When you do an infinite loop in a worker, you can still close the tab. <laughs> so I find it quite cool. <laughs> um, and I think I will stop here for a few minutes of presentation. Is there any question at this stage? Anyone who now wants to use workers? Yeah, I convinced. I increased by 50% the number of people who want to do. Yeah, question. How is the support right now for web browsers? It's, I would say, all the uh, modern browsers have it. Uh, we, can, like, uh, we can check. But, yeah. I think it's pretty good. And, and in the back, the worker is basically the exact same JavaScript. So the only thing that you need is the ability to create a worker, to send a message and receive message. And so we see. Yeah, Chrome says that it's there for since version four, so for quite a long time. One more question? Yeah. Following up on this question, yeah. uh, did you encounter any problems specific to any of the browsers? Uh, I'm lucky our customers are using modern browsers, uh, so did not encounter issues so far. And again, looking at the table, I'm not too scared. And it's a B2B app, so in a way, if there is, it's not like a consumer website where you need to cater to your customers. In this case, I can say we support this one, and you have to move if you want it. And they are quite happy with the service, so that's fine. Yeah, <coughs> cool. Thank you very much.